Grand Smoke Suga. Today I'm going to be reviewing Al Fokker Orange Flavor. And I got the 250 gram box here and I'm just going to open it up for you guys. And we'll start off with the unboxing and then I'll go back to my typical video format. Alright, so... Comes in a nice little package. Um, let me adjust my light, lighting a little bit. Comes in this nice little box, your standard Al Fokker packaging. Tear that sucker open. Got the genuine Al Fokker seal. And we'll open it up. Inside the box, we got the little bucket as per usual. And we'll open the bucket up. Then we have the uh, vacuum seal, or heat seal. I'm gonna need a knife to open. Got one right here though, don't worry. Oh wow, that smells delicious. So then inside of that we got the Ziploc bag with our shisha on it. You can kind of smell it through the bag, but not really, so I'm going to go ahead and tear this puppy open and we'll see how she smells. Um, get the zipper open. Okay, oh my good. goodness. Delicious. Just about like that. It's actually um, red. That's really weird. I was expecting orange. So it's a red shisha, and as far as unboxing goes, it comes in your standard uh, zipper bag inside the bucket inside the box, and that's for the 250 gram version. All right, and I'll show you the cup. Now, as for most Alfacker tobaccos, this is a very uh, fine, consistent, juicy cut. Uh, just like what I had with the watermelon mint, um, it's really consistent, moisture, and uh, nice and light and fluffy. And I got quite a lot of volume out of that 250 grams. So I'm going to pack a bowl of this, and then I'll show you my pack. Okay, so it packed up really nice. Um, I'm going to just smoke this little mod bowl because I don't really want to uh, get out the big Egyptian again. Because that's quite a bit for me to smoke by myself, and I'm trying to cut back a little bit. Um, you'll hear me reference these other shishas in the video. I might make reference to two apples and watermelon mint. I'll try to make this video, uh, as helpful as I can for somebody who hasn't smoked those two, but I might talk about them as well. But again, we're just reviewing the orange flavor today. My setup I'm smoking today is my mod bowl with the orange alfacher, one sheet of deezer foil, two Starbuzz Cocoa Buzz Coals, and this is on my Khalil Mamoon Shamanan Hookah with ice in the base and a Deezer washable hose that I just cleaned. Everything here is clean, so we're going to get a nice, fresh review. Okay, so I'm going to smoke this and tell you guys my thoughts. We'll start with flavor. Wow. Yeah, I like that a lot. If you've ever smoked white gummy bear, Fumari white gummy bear, it tastes a lot like that. I know some people say online that it has a little bit of an aftertaste, but it doesn't have nearly as much aftertaste as like two apples or watermelon mint would. Those are the two shishas that I mostly smoke. has like a, after you exhale it, it, it almost sits on your tongue for a little bit. It's really pleasant. It doesn't leave any aftertaste past that three second mark. Which is nice. So between hits you go back to like a neutral taste in your mouth. Uh, which I like in a shisha. I don't really like shishas that linger in your mouth very long. Um, but yeah, it's a really quality orange flavor. You definitely can distinguish it as just clean, straight up orange. doesn't taste artificial at all. I know a lot of Starbuzz ones taste a little candy like. There's no like sugary taste to it at all. It's just straight up orange. Uh, 
All right, I'm gonna go ahead and rotate these coals. We've hit about five minutes, and uh, then I'll tell you guys a little bit about my thoughts on the clouds. Okay, let's see how the clouds are. Digging it. These clouds are pretty much right up there with any other Alfacher flavor. They're just thick, super smooth clouds, just as expected with Alfacher. Incredibly smooth. I'm getting no flavor burn yet. Uh, I don't really expect to, but it's not. It doesn't strike me as a tobacco that's easy to burn. I'll say that. So these clouds are great. Um, as far as buzz goes, I am getting a pretty strong buzz from this. Uh, I would say maybe even a little bit of a stronger buzz than I would get from watermelon mint. Um, I mean, I have been hitting this pretty hard over the past few minutes. As for my final thoughts on this tobacco, it's a great beginner tobacco. The clouds are super thick. The pack is really easy and the cut is nice and fine. I didn't have like any sticks in my 250 gram tin and I never really do with Al Fokker for some reason. A lot of times when I get Fumari or Starbuzz or even Fantagia, I get a lot of stems in there too. This is pretty much just a relatively fine leafy cut. I would definitely re recommend this tobacco and I will probably be buying it again. <coughs> I think that about concludes my review. I hope you guys liked this video, found it helpful. If you want to leave me any pointers or questions, comments, concerns in the comment section below, that would be great and I will get back to you. Thanks for watching my video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it and make sure you subscribe for more reviews. I do a review about once a week now and uh, I'll be increasing my upload frequency because I'm going to start doing uh, vape videos too. Ripping the heads off of my Barbie dolls, toss them to the side.